Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Humankind with the Cultures of Africa content pack. Again, this video is sponsored by Amplitude and Sega. A big thank you to them for that. And of course, you can find links in the description down below. So in the last video, we played through the entire ancient era as the Bantu. We were able to expand a fair bit. I think now that we are in the classical era, though, we no longer gain the benefit, yeah, of having non-attached districts. So we might as well go ahead and attach this to the capital. That does create some starvation issues because we had a lot of extra pops over here, but... Oh well, we'll lose a couple in the meantime. Let's just go ahead and start growing over there as fast as we can. And we do want to consider possibly going to war pretty soon against our northern neighbors because they are preventing me from doing a lot more expansion right now. If we can cripple them early, then that's going to be really good for me. To that extent, let's go ahead and take a look at our research. I want to start working toward mounted warfare for our unique unit, the Javelin Riders. Also along the way, we'll go ahead and unlock the Swordsman, which would be a pretty helpful upgrade for me. And if I could find Spearman anywhere, I would like to get that. I don't know if we are able to get Spearman at this stage of the game, though. That may not be a thing for me, so... Oh, well. Oh, I take that back. You can get Spearman. Anti-Cavalry worth 18. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know. Um, we don't have any upgrades for Spearman. I, I do know that the AI likes to go for Cavalry a lot, depending on what Civ they play. If our northern Mycenaean neighbors go for the Huns, uh, that will be a bit of a problem, but the AI loves doing that, so we'll see. We now, you might think that these um, pioneers here are useless from here on out. They're not. We will be able to upgrade those into our unique units for relatively cheap, which means we're going to get a huge boost in military power pretty quickly. Religious tolerance. We could go for religious hostility, which can give me a grievance against empires of different religion. <laughs> That said, let me take a look at something. Uh, religious... Oh, no, they're my religion. Oh, okay. So that would do nothing for me, basically, is what you're telling me. All right. Well, if that's the case, um, we should probably go ahead and be open-minded and just enjoy a lot of extra influence. I mean, like, a lot of extra influence. Army composition, we could go for cheaper units. We could also just make them stronger. Mmm... Well... I mean, there are options. What about leadership? City cap, stability on capital. Don't need any of those right now. We'll need that later, though. Cheaper units, which I think are already going to be pretty easy for me to build, or combat strength. I'm thinking we want to go for combat strength. P uh, professional soldiers will end up being pretty good for me, I think. All right. Anyways, uh, we will be making use of jump cuts in this video for absolute sure. Because um, I'm pretty sure we're going to need... Oh, hey, more copper. I am pretty sure we are going to... Um, Go to war, and that means that we're not going to get through an entire area in one video if I do not, so I'll just warn you up front that that is going to be the case. More copper over here, by the way, just means that forges are going to be more valuable. We should go ahead and do that as soon as we can. Um, let's go ahead and actually make these the priority instead of food. We're going to starve and hit equilibrium again anyway in just a little bit. We'll worry about food in a little bit. Let's just instead go for tons and tons of extra industry. Once this stoneworks is done, same deal. We're going to go for a forge. And then after that, um, maybe food? Maybe. Uh, 19 food is kind of a pretty good amount. We'll try for that. Once that's all done, though, I think we're going to need to work on getting some military units and such going instead. So, let's see. There is a sanctuary down over here, which we can go ahead and ransack. I'll do that right over here. That'll be worth a bit of extra food and influence for doing so, because they are, at the end of the day, just a bunch of harmless animals. We like hunting these guys. Move on to the next turn. Uh, let's see. Persians have been selected. Okay. Question. Has anyone else chosen... Does it show me what cultures? No. Previous. There we go. No. There's a way to see the previous era, I am sure. I just don't know what it is. Have these guys chosen their culture yet? No. They're still the Mycenaeans. Please stay that way. I would like you guys to not adopt anything else for a while. Let's go ahead and place down the Pyramid of Giza. We do want to make progress on this as soon as we can. After that's done, a little bit more industry over here could be warranted, and then maybe a bit of extra food. Apparently that's worth some influence as well. That's interesting. Anything great over here? No. All right, we'll go ahead and do that in the capital for the moment, and then up over here. Um, once you're done with this, we can start working on iron. That is a thing but I'm not feeling too worried about it yet. I think I'd rather just go ahead and continue getting some additional industry and keep shoring up the basics. Iron actually gives you extra science if you build research districts next to it, I believe. Not sure if I want to do that, um, but it's an option for us. Oh, crud. The Mycenaeans did go for the Huns. Ah, 
I don't like that. Okay, well, that's a thing now. And they just immediately declared war. Whoa, 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 okay. Guess what we do then? We are going to immediately upgrade all of my units because whether I like it or not, we are now immediately at war. Fun. Okay. Um, you know what? Forget the Pyramid of Giza for a minute. We need to get ourselves some swordsmen or... Let's see. What do you have? You got spearmen for the moment. This is a fight we could win. What else do you have here? All right. So that's where we're starting to get some scouts. That's fine as long as they don't get more Huns. Um... Is it worth getting the Spearman just so I can have anti-cavalry? It's 18 combat strength versus 26. How much more do you get when fighting against cavalry again? I don't remember. I think it would be better at this point for me to just go ahead and build out a few swordsmen. I can build a bunch of them out in one turn. Okay. And then over here, I think I'll do the same thing. Let's plan on getting myself a bunch of units, because I already have the ranged cavalry. What I don't have is some melee front line to defend. All right, what else do we want to do then? Um, well, fortifications so we can get citizens for some garrisons in case our cities get attacked would probably make a lot of sense. I could attack these guys right now before they have a chance at getting more people in. He would not even have a lot of space to deploy all of his units. This might be a great opportunity for me to just jump in on him and start wrecking him. I think it probably is, actually. Um, yeah, I think we should just go ahead and do this right now. Boom, let's go ahead and attack. He's running away, okay. Well, no surprises there, I suppose. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do to chase him down, but it would have been really cool to get some kills off. Uh, Weave of Iron and Blood. We could become patriotic and have cheaper units. More combat strength, or prosperous gain money chance of maybe getting more stuff. I'm going to go for some extra combat strength, because I think we're going to train up our units pretty quick as it is. I don't think I need much more than that. The good news is we're going to have a lot of money coming in, so I can afford a pretty hefty amount of unit maintenance. Without too many issues. So here come some swordsmen. Okay, he's starting to bring in his units. Hang on, let's get these guys in position. What do you have? Alright, so it's these guys again. Um, let's see, if I first want to attack... Whoop, hang on. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Can you not attack... Hang on, can you attack him? Yes, he's gonna run. There we go. Uh, if we attack you, and I get some reinforcements in position, which we can't do right now. Darn it, I think I messed this up slightly. I want to take some good fights in my own territory, especially before he gets a lot of his mounted cavalry together, because there's gonna be a lot of them in a bit. Money from ransacking and extra combat strength when ransacking. That could be pretty good to mess with him. Um, Stability on cities that I occupy could be pretty good too, but... Mm, am I going to do a lot of ransacking? Probably not. We're probably going to go ahead and go for the extra stability on cities I occupy. It'll make it easier for me to conquer stuff when the time comes, I think, right? Maybe. All right, are we finishing with the Pyramids of Giza? Yes, in two turns we will be done with some of that. Um, I probably should consider getting some fortifications fairly early on. And same thing over here. Let's go ahead and prioritize those. In fact, two turns, that's still going to take way too long. But all right, we're going to try for some of that and see how it goes. Um, and this army, I mean, I want to attack you, but it's just, it's not going to call in my reinforcements. So it's not worth doing yet. And this turn... Let's go ahead and move you guys together. He is pulling back. Okay. I mean, if we can start pushing toward his capital, that's kind of what I want to do. Okay, we see him right here. Hang on. Can I first move you up here? Then move you here. Attach a swordsman here. Move you here. We'll attach like that. And then can I attack you in a way that you can't retreat? Because there are cliffs everywhere. Possibly. Let's go for a manual battle. All right, so this could hurt, but we have a lot of units ready to go. Um, we've got him surrounded with melee units, so he shouldn't be able to go anywhere. And here's the fun thing, because he's completely surrounded, he can only bring in one at a time. <laughs> Which means we're going to be able to just, just, just uh, annihilate the poor fool. We're going to absolutely blow this guy out of the water. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and move you over here then, and, and deployment. And he's going to bring in one unit at a time, and I'm just going to poke them all down until I win. <laughs> <laughs> Free kills for me, you fool! Pew pew! Bye! Alright, so that's that. Let me attack again. Manual battle again. And we just keep repeating this. 
This kind of situation is the dream, by the way, for a couple of different reasons. Remember, every single time that you win a battle like this, um, they lose a load of war support. So we could have made them lose a lot of war support from losing one big battle, or we could make them lose a lot of war support for losing um, several battles. Yes, so three. case in point, they're gonna lose 32 instead of eight. <laughs> and I'm gonna gain a lot of war support instead of eight. So I mean, like, this is really strong. It's kind of crazy when you can do that, but that's like the perfect situation. All right, we're gonna need to rebalance some of this army in a little bit, but that is not gonna be enough to make me think that he's like dead. It just makes me think that we're gonna be able to win this war on my terms pretty darn soon. All right, let's finish up that Pyramid of Giza. Boom, done. Fortifications have been researched, so we now have better garrisons. And I can claim another wonder if I wanted to. What do you have here? Okay, so he is attacking the city. He has... Aha! There they are. All right, the Hunnic Hordes. I hate these guys so very, very much. These guys are nomads too. They actually gain food. I didn't even know that they could do that. So as they fight, they gain extra units? Ugh. Ugh. I absolutely do despise that. We'll get some reinforcements in over here in a little bit. I'm not really worried about it. Um, and plus, we're going to have citizens who can absorb a lot of the hits. So that's going to be fine. And there we go. Okay, that was easy enough. I lost a couple of my garrison units, but who cares really at the end of the day? Let's also remember, as we're fighting these people, we're getting extra era stars. Being a militarist in this game is honestly pretty darn good. All right, what else would we like to do? Um, well, we could train up more units just to be safe if I wanted to. Um, that would not be too hard to do, and I've got some extra population to work with, I suppose. That said, i actually like to go ahead and move both of these guys over here into food. No, we can't. Never mind. Um, yeah, well, let's see. Iron, blah, blah, blah. Um, extra food per farmer slot, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and train up a couple additional units. So we'll be able to have a few reinforcements, and we're going to start making a push toward that capital, I think. Yes, I would like to push these guys away from my own territory, and having an army sitting back here to do that might be the way to go, but at the same time, maybe not. Maybe it's worth just going ahead and making a push as aggressively up there as we can. How many units can I train in a single turn? Not as much as I would like. Um, we'll probably buy one of these guys out when the time comes, but this will be a whole extra army for me to work with. Okay, cool. Uh, drums or war are sounding, boys. We'll get them soon enough. Look at those beautiful pyramids. Don't you dare ransack them. I'd be very cross if you did that. You're coming a really long way, Mr. Scout Rider. Coming a really long way. And where are the rest of your armies? Don't see them. Hmm. Am I being lulled into a false sense of security? Maybe. Oh, let's just go ahead and keep moving the forces. Huh, he just came in for another round, except this time I've got 16 units plus a garrison sitting around. What are you thinking, Huns? All right, let's just go ahead and kill him again. Well, easy enough. Killed off four of their units, lost again. A couple of garrisons that I don't think matters. He's gonna get to do one last shot at me, but I've got his flag. He's gonna attack this guy. Nope, never mind, he's not. And there we go. All right, four more units lost for you. More era stars for me. Okay, and with that, we begin our march. Again, I keep getting delayed here. It's a little annoying, actually. <laughs> What's the event over here? The Flooded Lands. Hmm. Um, you know, I think it's probably worth using some money for good consequences. War skirmishes over here now. Um, wow, okay. He brought a lot of these guys in. Um, says I got a good chance of winning this. I'm not sure I agree because the Huns uh, hor are horrible. It's a simple way to put it. They're, they're truly horrible. Gosh, how did he get so many stinking units? This is the thing about an AI. You know, they just, they get a lot of units really freaking fast. It's just what they do. Anyway, do we want to go ahead and lay siege? Um, yeah, kinda. Let's just go ahead and do that. Can we attack here? Nope, can't attack. The okay, can we move over this way? All right, one more turn and we can go lay siege to his capital. He's got basically no defenses, it looks like. It doesn't even look like he has much in the way of walls. So even if we lose this fight, and I'm not convinced we will, we can at least make it a pretty costly one for him, he'll lose his dang capital, and that'll put me in a really good position, I think. Yeah, this right here is why I don't like playing against the Huns. I mean, seriously, the AI pumps these units out a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. It is ridiculous how many of these these guys will create. Um, if we can get up to some high ground, at least, that'll put me in a slightly better position. Unfortunately, none of them are melee units, so they're not gonna... 
They're not gonna crush me there, but yeah. Yeah, we should probably just go ahead and take a few shots at these guys, move back up over here, and then just start focus firing down one or two targets at a time. <sighs> okay, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. And of course, I do get to bring in a bunch more units, but I have to defend this flag, or else bad things, bad things will happen. Okay, so far we lost one unit, they lose four, and guess who's attacking me again immediately? Gosh, dang, I do not like the Huns! Okay, we are at last able to launch our assaults. They have levies, not citizens, which means they've got very little in the way of defense, and only a couple of units in total. This should be very easy for me to just go ahead and assault outright, despite the fact that we can't easily get through their walls. Who cares? We've got all the range units we need. We'll take them out. And easy enough, couple of his Hun hordes and a bunch of levies gone. We lost nothing and he lost six units in total. We have now captured his capital. Okay, we also discovered uh, apparently a natural wonder. Oh, that's kind of exciting. And look who was working on Stonehenge. How cute. Maybe I'll get to take that for myself. All right, so that's pretty serious. Tell his war support yourself. is gonna start going down by a lot now, especially if I can start winning some fights. Big concern, of course, is still this area down over there. Can I find a way to get some reinforcements? Um, do, 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 not quite able to get reinforcements into the battle as much as I would like to. Dang it. Yeah, these guys got shoved way off to the side. And of course, because my city is involved in this fight, they're not able to get involved. So we're going to lose this and two more units, but we definitely made them pay for it. And we distracted them long enough that I can occupy his dang capital, which is a really good spot for me. Ooh, cultural blessing. Um, extra influence? Uh, yes, I think just straight out monoculturalism is gonna end up being better because we're probably not gonna have an opportunity to do a lot of assimilation. Okay, so yeah, we lost our units down over here. Um, we're gonna train up some new units, which should be done in like one turn. That'll end up making these guys at least a little bit stronger. We're gonna end this turn and then we're gonna immediately start moving my units. So let's go ahead and get these in position before the AI can respond. Garrison this city, at least for the moment, while we get these guys in position to find out what the heck else is going on in this general area. Anything of excitement? Well, I see that there is some sort of a territory we could probably go ransack over here. Um, what is this? This is a Cyclopean Fortress. Ooh, that seems kind of cool. I have no idea what that is, but it seems cool. Anyway, yeah. We'll just go ahead and move through the mountain pass and see what else we can find. It looks like there might be another city over here we can attack, an unfortified one at that, which is even better. Let's go ahead and move you guys forward as well. And we're going to keep this offensive going. Ultimately, my goal here is just to take the city. I don't really care about much else beyond that. I just want to take the city. And I'm pretty confident coming out of this we'll have enough war score to do that. But I've been wrong before! Uh, let's see. Civics Osmosis. Oh, we can get city cap already. That's exactly what I wanted since I'm gonna try to take a city. Yes, that's just free. Didn't even cost me any influence. Beautiful. Hey, can we, uh, claim another wonder? Oh, yes, we can. Um, let's see. Temple, Stonehenge, everyone else has claimed a wonder already. We get to choose what we want, though. Do we want the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus getting me science per district on a city? Or the Colosseum of Rhodes, militia are not lost over time during sieges. The Lighthouse gets me more naval movement. Or the Statue of Zeus for alliances and a lot of stability. I'm going to be honest, none of these strike me as outrageously good. Um, the Mausoleum could become powerful. The lighthouse would allow us to actually move a lot faster and start exploring the ocean. And we've learned from the past that uh, it does take a bit. It does take a long time to travel across the ocean and your units are likely to take attrition and die. So I don't know. Um, this this could be an okay idea. But I, I mean, it's hard to say no to science. At the end of the day, we'll just research, you know, like better boats, right? Let's go ahead and claim that mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Are we going to build it right now? No. But it's going to be really cool when I can get it. Industrial production. Wow, we can get this civic really early. Yikes, dude. Okay. Uh, nationalized industry getting me extra food for all farmers. Or, just sorry, rather get extra farmer slots per quarter. Okay. Or extra traders. Um, I think I'm going to end up valuing probably the uh, collectivization more as well as the food rather than money. Money is not too hard to get sometimes, so... Uh, yeah, 513 influence is a lot, though. 
Wow. Um, maybe I hold off on that for a little bit. It's not like I want all of my people to start swapping over to working on food right now anyway, right? Probably not. Hmm, what the heck? Three swordsmen have decided to attack me when I was pillaging this thing? Why do you care? Fine, now we gotta deal with neutral armies on top of the- Oh, crud, we don't even have enough space for everyone, do we? Ah, that's gonna be awkward. No wonder he attacked me. Ugh. Let's go ahead and lay siege to a cod. How strong are you? You don't look very strong. Looks like you've got one unit defending with, again, just a few levy units, which are easy pickings. All right, let's go ahead and snag a second city. This shouldn't be bad. I'm liking, by the way, the upgraded preview as far as uh, your attacks and like where units are gonna go or what they're able to attack. It seems to be a little bit smarter, which is really quite nice. Oh, crud, he had reinforcements I didn't know about. He's got a lot of reinforcements. God, I hate the Huns. The Huns suck. <laughs> How do they do this? They train units so fast. I know this is only Empire difficulty, but it was the same thing on Humankind. If you fight against the Huns, like they just train a lot of units so stupidly quickly. There we go. All right, finish that off. Lost two units, killed off 10 in total. That was way more costly than I thought it was going to be. But we see Jakkad as a result, and over here, um, we'll just go ahead and turn on automatic battle and let them just finish these guys off. They should be absolutely nothing left. There we go, that's another three dead, okay. Woo, this, is, um, this has been getting a little bit costly. Um, we're still trying to ransack this, I believe. Two more turns to go on that. Any other territories that I would like to ransack? Do you got any administrative centers? No, you got Knossos over here. Another city. Uh, let's be honest, I'm not gonna have time to go get you that because your war greatest? support is going to go away as of this next turn. So that will end up being victory for me. What else would we like to do over here? Um, well, we don't need more military units anymore for once. So, tell you what, we'll just go ahead and get more food on things like rivers and stuff, and maybe extra industry on rivers too, I don't know, all the things, all the things! Unfortunately, we were not able to ransack this administrative center and completely clear out the territory, that would have been very convenient, but now they are asking for us to stop. Um, alright, so let's see, we got 215 war score, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, definitely gonna take, uh, this, um, city, no doubt about it. Probably should try to take over their, uh, territory attached as well, because otherwise the city might end up being a little bit too weak. We could demand a lot of reparations. I could actually take another city, which might be a little excessive, but taking two cities out of this doesn't seem bad, honestly. Um... Definitely would make him weak for the rest of the game, wouldn't it? I'm worried about my ability to handle this, and I'll definitely be over my city cap, but you can go one over without too many issues, right? All right, I think we go ahead and force his surrender. You have my appreciation. I, I, I don't know if I want to trade luxuries, but all right, we'll go ahead and accept that for now. Sure, why not? There we go. They're sullen, very angry, very bad sports about the situation, and boom, just like that, we have grown quite a bit. We've almost taken over the entirety of the continent. Hey, that was a really good starting war for me. Uh, question, how much longer until we can get to the next era? Very soon, in fact. One more tech. Three turns and or expand to take over one more territory. I would love to do that if the option existed. Um, there are no more territories that I can take. They are all occupied by other people. My opinion, when you conquer all this, that should count toward the limit. But that's just me thinking. Here's the hilarious thing. We actually beat them so badly, they've got no population left. These cities literally have to start from scratch, but that's okay. Um, we should be getting a reasonable-ish amount of food. Akkad is going to be the weakest city for us by a long shot, because they have no attachable territories, but, you know, it's fine. Maybe later we just go ahead and absorb it into this city or something. I don't know, but, um, yeah, that, that was fun. That was a good little war. Splendid little war, in fact. There's that last little bit of tech. We actually got an agrarian star as well. Okay. Uh, if we build out a couple more districts, we'll get more fame, we make some more money, we get more fame, and of course we're very close to the expansionist stars, but alas and alack, that's not going to be a thing. I think we can probably go ahead and move on to the next culture, if we wanted to, which would be... who? Swahili! These are the new ones. Now this is a merchant-based sieve. We will get stability from harbors. 
So it is actually going to be very good for us to start transitioning over toward sea exploration and getting lots of harbors out right about now. We'll also have a unique district, the Bendari district, which can actually exploit all types of resources, which is really nice. Also, you get extra money per number of unique types of resources available, so it ends up getting us a lot of cash. We'll see how much when we get to the next video. Then we'll, of course, get extra influence whenever it is adjacent to some uh, other... Coastal water, and just in general around coastal water, okay. And we'll have a unique unit, the Imtepe, which is a flexible craft. It can work as a naval transport, and it allows for embarking and disembarking instantly. But it is damaged, of course, by spending consecutive turns on ocean tiles. So not exactly great for exploring the deep ocean, but certainly good if we can find some islands to hop around in or something. We're going to go ahead and adopt this. I do want to confirm this. Beautiful outfit, by the way. And let's see, the Descendants of Kings. We can go for fast speed on a lot of stuff. Um, Persimonious or belittle gain stability. Uh, who? Um, I think we'll go ahead and get swift on all of my units. I don't really know what I would do with any of these, to be honest, actually. Maybe, maybe we just... Uh, no, nah, we'll go for Swift. I don't need any of this, though. None of that's actually especially helpful, if I'm being completely honest. Let's finish out Stonehenge, because we can do things like that, then move on, Wisdom. and ba-boom! We are entering into the next era. All right. Well, that was a fairly exciting episode. Of course, there's a lot more that I need to do now. We immediately get three era stars. Holy crud. This is going to end up being a really short era, isn't it? All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Remember, you guys can find links in the description for more information. And I will see you guys next time.